Hello everyone, welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Now today I am desperately in need of a shave. I hope you can see I've got a proper stubble going on here. I haven't shaved for two days because I've literally just come back from holiday last night. I've been in Greece for a week's holiday and I didn't shave for the last two days because I knew waiting for me at home was this product. This is the brand new, just released Taylor of Old Bond Street Oud Shave Cream. Just been released by Taylor's for the 2023 period, or season, so to speak. Uh, they rarely produce new shaving fragrances on their products. And when Oud came out, of course, Oud has a really good reputation as being a sort of luxurious product that most people are familiar with. It's used in many of the top end uh, fragrances like Tom Ford and so on. I thought it would be an ideal opportunity for me to take the fact that I haven't had a shave in a couple of days and use it in this shaving experience. So I'm going to get straight on and I'm just going to have an ordinary shave as if you weren't here, albeit I'm in the outdoors and it is Tuesday the 22nd of August here so I'm gonna crack right on first thing to know I expect this to give a fantastic shave because I've been using Taylor's of old Bond Street shave products for decades now and I have never been let down the fragrance which you initially get there's a slight fruitiness in there and Taylor's themselves tell us and I'm gonna read this they tell us that this smells of quince rose saffron with a base of oud and amber I can, I can smell a sort of rosy fruitiness. Taylor's do a very strong rose fragrance shave cream, which is very powerful. It's nothing like that. But there is a depth to it and a sense of luxury when one smells it. And I haven't used this before. As you can see, it's brand new. All right, so when I crack into it in a moment, it's going to be the first time I experience this fragrance on the brush. So to get started, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some water to my face. And I brought some hot water with me. Got a couple of little bowls here, just so you know, on my shaving station here. My mirror is just here as well. So if you see me looking over here when I'm shaving, that's the reason why. So let's begin. Right, water on the face to start. Nice bit of water. Just get it on there darken, sorry, dampen the bristles. Now, because I haven't shaved for a few days and because I enjoy a nice shave, I'm gonna use some pre-shave. I'm using Perazzo pre-shave here. This is one I use every day with my shaving experience. And basically, as you can see, I've used this one rather a lot. I've got a couple already in reserve at home. And this is mentholyptus and uh, menthol and eucalyptus rather and all you do with this is you rub it into the bristles you get some on your hand a little goes a long way rub it onto the bristles and with that fluid i've just applied to my face just get it in there and immediately you're hit with a wonderful smell of menthol i wouldn't say you get a zinging on the face but there is a feeling that you put something which is cooling on the skin the menthol effect uh, i'm just going to rub that in Make sure the bristles mm, feel good. Right, let's get that off my hand. Got a towel here. A little bit of sun breaking through. Um, right, the business. This is where it begins. Brush. Okay, I am using a Yaki 24 millimeter shave brush. It's a synthetic brush and always gives a great shave, these synthetic brushes by Yaki. It's like a very beautiful brush as well, as you can see as the sun breaks through. Hopefully it's got a lovely blue uh, handle to it. So I'm gonna dampen that straight away. Just dampen it, all right? And I know I'm gonna dampen it because I'm gonna flick off the excess so the brush is damp. Now I'm taking my shave cream. Remember, this is not shave soap, it's shave cream. And I just get some of it on my brush. Not a huge amount, it'll go a long way. Sun is really cranking through now. A little bit more water on my brush. And I'm now gonna build that into a foam in this metal uh, shave bowl. It's not actually a shave bowl, it's a bowl I've been using as a shave bowl. Um, it's actually a outdoor uh, bowl for camping. But I found that it gives a fantastic uh, dual purpose as a stainless steel shave 
cream whipping bowl. And there we go. So it takes no time at all. I mean, there's no surprises here. Tailors of Old Bond Street, pound for pound, to my opinion, are just about the best shave cream and shave products in the world. And already a magnificent amount of shave cream ready to shave. Fragrance, subtle, I would say. Oh man, the lather, as expected, magnificent, goes on easily. Now I'm starting to get the hints of the fragrance. Quince, apparently, is one of its predominant fragrances. I don't really know what quince smells like. In my normal life, I don't encounter quince very often. But as you can see, the performance of the shave cream is excellent. With a little bit of whipping, just water, straight onto the bristles, boom! You know, we've got lovely, luxurious, thick, pillowy, cushioning shave cream which will make this two-day stubble a pleasure to cut off. There we go. That is glorious. Oh, some of it's landing on my shirt even. So much of it on there. Right, put that down. Let's begin our shave. Right, what have I got here? This is a Rockwell 6S, adjustable three-piece razor, and I've got it set with the very most aggressive shaving uh, setup here. It's the number six of the setup, so it makes it the most aggressive. And inside, I have a first-use Gillette Nasset razor blade, my preferred razor of choice. So, dampen down my blade, and now I am just going to commence. Oh, man. Always a pleasure. Hmm? You know when you haven't shaved for a couple of days, you've got lovely shaving products on the skin. You've got a beautifully sharp blade. And that stubble, it's just surrendering. It's got no chance. It's just giving right up. Okay, next side. I'm going to do two passes today. One against or with the grain, I should say, like this. And then one across the grain. I never shave against the grain. Too aggressive for my skin. The fragrances are lovely now. They are it's slightly fruity and oud has a sort of luxurious element to it anyway. I mean I don't own any of these fancy fragrances by Tom Ford and the like because oud is too expensive. It's one of the world's most expensive uh, sort of fragrance components. Know that for sure. Oud is an interesting thing within itself, actually. A lot of people are not familiar with what oud is. Oud is a natural product, and it's something which is created in Mother Nature when a certain type of tree, predominantly found in Southeast Asia, gets damaged. And I believe, hang on, it's the Aquilaria, Aquilaria tree. Not one that I find in my woods here. But that particular tree, when it's damaged, to repair the injury to its, um, you know, its, itself, it creates a sort of resin which fills the, the gouge or the wound within itself. And that resin is ultimately the component which makes oud. Because when it is, you know, harvested, and I believe oil is extracted from that resin, then we have this component called, that we call oud, which is highly prized in the manufacture of fragrance and other such things. Now, clearly, I doubt they're using actual oud oil in our uh, Tailors of Old Bond Street product because it only costs, I think it's uh, 14 pounds or 15 pounds for 150 uh, grams. So you get quite a lot of material here for the price. So, you know, it's not actual good quality oud stuff. It's undoubtedly a synthetic variant of it. But the fragrance, as I would say again, it's subtle, but it's pleasant. It's one of these fragrances I don't think anybody is going to dislike. So, back on with it. Right, let's get some more water on the skin because I'm gonna do a second pass. And I'm gonna use my lovely, pillowy, soft, wonderful, luxuriant shaving foam yet again. Tailors never disappoint, to be fair. I mean, I have yet to find any of their products which um, have failed to meet my expectation when I'm shaving. This is rather a pleasant fragrance, I have to say. Quite, 
quite sort of gentlemanly, you know, oldie worldy perhaps, a little bit smoky perhaps. Um, Oud is often described as a sort of natural companion to a smoky, leathery, ambery fragrance. And this is, yeah, it definitely falls into that category. There we go. Um, ordered this from tailors themselves online. Um, you can obviously find it in other places, but it's just been released, this one, within the last month. And I wanted to get it straight, straight away, to have a go of it. So I ordered it straight away, at the same price. I ordered two pots, didn't cost anything for postage. Very good value for money, in my opinion. Okay, so here we go. Got my, my, uh, my blade ready to go, and I'm going across the grain this time. Not going against the grain, which would involve for me shaving upwards on the upper half of my chin. Going across it. I feel a little bit of resistance, because the bristles which I missed with the first pass are now giving up to the blade. Lovely feeling, lovely sensation. And that shave cream, that foam that I've just created, is working a treat, protecting the skin. Uh, yeah, all good. No nicks, no cuts, everything spot on. Considering I'm using a brand new, very sharp blade with the sharpest or the most aggressive reveal on this Rockwell Success, pretty good. Quite easy to get a lovely shave with this razor and some nice products. Again, I'm gonna shave upwards under the chin. I'm not gonna shave in the opposite direction that I did initially, because for me, this part of my face is the most sensitive when it comes to shaving. And I don't want any razor bumps, lumps, or anything like that. So there we go. That's all I need. Off there. Yeah, so I was away in uh, Greece for the last week. And what a wonderful week I had. The weather was magnificent. 35 degrees pretty much every day. We had a nice sort of resort hotel where we, uh, we had a, a room which opened up onto a pool and then just a few yards away there was the actual sea. So we were spoiled for choice. And lovely food, nice village nearby with a market. I did keep my eye open for any, just checking for any bristles I've missed. All good. Keep my eye open for any local splashes because I like to use various aftershave splashes from countries that I visit. But there seemed to be a bit of a lack of anything interesting in the place I was at. So unfortunately I didn't come back with any shaving accoutrements. But we had a lovely break and that's the important thing. My lads spent sort of two and a half hours a day in the sea uh, playing volleyball and we had a lovely time. Right, now I am just going to clear my face using my water here of the remaining bits of foam. Get rid of that. Mm. Now I'm left with a wonderful clean shave. That that oud works a treat, that's true. And the fragrance, again, subtle, but pleasantly so. I really like that one, that's a good one. Uh, definitely a keeper in the collection. I've tried every single one of the Taylors of Old Bond Street fragrances over the years. Some are like more than others. Some they've discontinued, others have uh, you know, entered the collection. I think that's gonna be one which is very popular. And at the price point, and at the performance point, I mean, you know, I've shaved twice using just a little bit of shave foam here. I could shave another four or five times using this, easily. Uh, that's the beauty of Taylor's, you know, the, the product for the price point, superb. Now, protect the skin. Just used something on there. I am now going to use, I'm staying with Taylor's Old Bond Street. I'm gonna use Taylor's, and this is their original cologne, all right? I've had this one for a long time, comes in a plastic bottle, so it's great for traveling and the like. Um, and what do they say? A true gentleman's cologne, discreetly fragranced. Now, I always have trouble describing this one. It just smells like classic gentleman's aftershave. I wouldn't say there are any accords or tones in there which sing out above others. Subtle. Now, I'm just going to apply that. It's a splash, it's gonna go straight on, it's gonna sting. Oh yeah, stings all right. Although I've got no cuts, 
stings. It's an astringent, right? I'm using it for this purpose. It's protecting the skin, it's antiseptic. It's already pretty much dried in. It's created, uh, you know, a safe environment for my skin after that shave. And because my skin has just been traumatized by that razor blade, I'm now gonna use a moisturizer, nothing fancy. I'm gonna use Nivea Moisturizer Instant Relief. It's a simple moisturizer. I use this on a daily basis, a little bit in the hand, just to go on the skin. And having used the astringent effect of the splash, I am now just going to moisturize the skin, make sure it's protected against the rigors of the day that lay ahead. Particularly as it hasn't shaved for a couple of days, my skin will require looking after, after that aggressive shave. Here we go. That has all absorbed, and I am very happy with that indeed. That was a lovely shave, worth not shaving for a couple of days to get the experience of getting rid of all those bristles this morning. And again, Oud by Taylor of Old Bond Street. I think it's £14.95 or there thereabouts, um, in whichever mechanism you, you can buy it. Eventually it'll be on Amazon, I'm sure. But at the moment I bought mine from Taylor's themselves, their online site. Um, and I have to say the performance did not disappoint. I wouldn't have expected it to. Taylor's Old Bond Street always provide the very best shaving experience at a very reasonable price point. It never disappoints, and today was no exception. That was a lovely shave. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Worth getting rid of that two days of stubble in one go there. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, don't forget, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee or become a patron. And you can see the additional video content I produce exclusively for my patrons. I even filmed a video for them when I was in Greece just the other day. So you get behind the scenes, different conversations with me than here on the normal channel. And if you want to know how to become a part of all that, it's all in the show notes below. Have a look down there and you will find the links necessary to get on board with that. So, I'm now going to go about my ordinary life, but very cleanly shaven and smelling faintly of oud as I do so, which is a good way to begin the day. So until next time, take care of yourselves, enjoy your shaves today, and I will see you again very soon.